This five minute video is going to show you how to upload map backgrounds, create assignments, and track field teams using the SARSoft search management program. To begin with, I'm going to create a new search located at a local county park. The topo map doesn't have all of the park trails, so while I can identify the subject's last known point and the location of the command post, I need a better map before I can start writing assignments. Fortunately, I have a park trails map on my computer that happens to be more or less drawn to scale, so I'm going to upload it to SARSoft and geo-reference it with real-world coordinates. I'm going to pick two readily identifiable bends in the road for my reference points. If I mark them on my uploaded image and then on the map, we can figure out how to rotate and scale the image so that we can align it with the real world. I'm going to zoom in on the final result and make sure that the roads on the edge of the image line up with those on the map. Returning to my map view, I'm going to set my newly uploaded map as the default background and start creating assignments. One nice feature of SARSoft is that the client is constantly updating itself to reflect the latest data. So I'm going to create a new browser window, drag that over to my other monitor, and when I update the assignment bounds, the changes will show up in the original window. I need to fill in some information for the assignment forms, such as the radio frequency we'll be operating on. Rather than doing each assignment individually, I can run a bulk update and change them all at once. In this case, I'm also going to go ahead and prepare the assignments. Preparing them prevents anyone else from making changes and allows me to print maps and assignment forms. Now that I've prepared the assignments, I need to print them. While I could do these individually, I'm going to go ahead and print all the SAR 104 forms and maps at once. I'd like to print a topo map, a park trails map, and I always like printing a combination of the terrain and satellite views in order to get a relief shaded satellite image. Looking at the print preview window, you can see forms and maps for each assignment. The maps have the assignment segments marked, as well as a UTM grid. As I've been working, SARSoft has been automatically listening to APRS traffic in the vicinity of the search. It's identified several call signs, and I'm going to take one of these, assume there's someone involved in the search, and create a resource out of them. I can now attach this resource to an assignment, which means that SARSoft will track their position and automatically record a location track as they move. Before this search team departs for the field, I'm also going to download the assignment segment as a route into their GPS. Now when I return to the map view, I'm able to locate this resource on the map, although this particular individual is not inside the search area because I chose their call sign at random.